students welcome to shake mathematics classes today we consider technique number 5 profit and loss we can solve some problem in shortcut method within short time we can easily find the result the technique 5 given if a man purchases m items for rupees x and sells n items for rupees y then Profit or loss per cent is given by my minus nx by nx into 100%. If we have the after calculation, if the result is positive, then this represent profit, and if the result is negative, then represent loss. Here, positive result means profit, and negative result means loss. So this is our formula. That means m items. Uh, purchases m items for rupees x and sells n items for rupees y the formula is mx my minus nx by nx into 100 percent now we consider one problem a fruit seller buys lemons at 2 for a rupee and sells them at 5 for 3 rupees what is his gain percent so Option given 10%, 15%, 20%, 25%. And it was said in CDS 2011, this one. So this is our problem. So here we have, in shortcut method, we use here M means here M equal to 2 and X equal to A rupee, that means 1. N equal to uh, n equal to this is 5 and rupees 3 rupees so y equal to 3 these are given so gain percent will be gain percent equal to m y minus n x by n x into 100 percent this are formula just using this formula we get our result now the formula the values are m means 2 y means 3 n means 5 and x means 1 and n 5 this is 1 into 100 percent so this is 6 6 minus 5 1 1 by 5 into 100 percent and cancelling by 5, we get 20%. So answer 20%. Option C, this is the correct option. Very nice solution. In one, uh, 5 seconds, 7 seconds, uh, 10 seconds, we can easily find this solution. This is easy. There are another interesting problem. Some apples are bought at 5, 4 rupees 10 and sold at 6 for rupees 15 what is the gain person so you have to find the gain person so this are problem the option given 35 percent 45 percent 20 percent 25 percent and none of this these are the option given now we have to solve this problem what is the gain person solution is start here uh, this is first is m both at 5 m and x equal to rupees 10 and n equal to uh, we have n items then 6 and y equal to this is 15 so this one given therefore gain percent we know this formula this is m y minus n x by n x into 100 percent m y 5 into 15 minus n x 6 into x means 10 and this is 6 into 10 into 100 percent this one so 75 minus 16 this is 15 this is 60 and this is 75 we get 15 
and 6 this 1 0 is cancel 6 into this is 10 percent we get this and cancelling by 3 3 2 3 5 this is 5 and this will be 25 percent so answer 25 percent now who is under the correct option this, this, this d d is the correct option very nice solution very easy to consider another problem this is cousin of first problem first two problems same types of problem a person buys some pencils at rupees five at, at five four rupee one and sells them three at three four rupee one its gain percent will be these are the option given 66 and 2 by 3 percent 76 and 2 by 3 percent 56 and 2 by 3 percent 46 and 2 by 3 percent so this is our problem so very easy solutions so here we have here m equal to 5 and x equal to 1 n equal to 3 and y equal to 1 so this gain percent will be this is m y minus n x by uh, n x into 100 percent this and this is m means 5 this is 1 this is 3 this is 1 3 into 1 into 100 5 minus 3 2 2 into this 200 200 by 3 percent and this is 6 6 2 by 3 percent and this is our final answer very nice solution very easy i consider another types of problem Mr. Kapoor purchased two toy cycles for rupees 750 each. He sold these cycles, gaining 6% on one and losing 4% on other. The gain or loss percent in the whole transaction is 1% loss, 1% gain, 1.5% loss, 1.5% gain. So it was said in CGA, uh, SSC CGL mains 2016. Now the problem is that two, two cycles, but each price is 750. Then two cycles means 750 into two, we get total CP. And one is gaining 6%, another losing 4%. So solution, total CP, Post price this is 2 into 750 this is 1500 and total SP total selling price equal to first one is gain next one loss this is a uh, hundred plus gain gain percent by hundred into CP and this is 100 minus loss percent by 100 into CP. This is first CP, first SP for gaining and second SP for uh, losing. So total SP selling price this plus this one is profit another is loss. So this will be 100 plus gain percent is 6 by 100 into CP means 750 and this is 100 minus 4 percent this is 4 by 100 into 750 this one. So this is 106. 1 0 is cancel this one 10 into 75 and this is 1 0 cancel this is 96 by 10 into 750
50 uh, uh, 75 and if we multiplying this then we get uh, if we multiplying we get 795 and this one if we multiplying we get 720 720 we get so if we adding this this is 5 this is 1 this is 14 15 we get this one uh, 795 720 if we adding get 15 15 we get uh, 1500 15 rupees this is the selling price total selling price and total cost price is 1500 so what we get sp is greater than cp since sp greater than cp therefore we get profit profit equal to uh, sp minus cp and sp get 1515 this is 15 Zero, 00 so ultimately we get 15 profit is 15 but our requirement profit percent in the whole transaction so since profit percent we know this formula profit percent equal to profit by cp into 100 percent profit just against 15 and CP is uh, 1500. This is 100%. Uh, this is 1% we get answer. So 1% profit. Answer is uh, this gain. 1% gain. Answer 1% gain. This is the answer. Very nice solution. Very easy. So I hope you are all enjoying with this type of problem. If you are enjoying, then please do not forget this. So like this video. And if you are new in my channel, then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Thank you.